Hey guys, when we work on Jenkins, we need our projects to be executed on different agents or different machines to achieve the continuous integration and continuous speed. So today we'll see how we can set up the agents in Windows machine. Let's see how we can set up Windows Agent in Jenkins. I have got a brand new Windows 2022 machine. As the Agent file is a Java program, we need Java to be installed first. So let's see how we can install Java on the Windows machine. So here, search for download Java 11. Just look for the first link from the oracle.com, Java SE 11 archive downloads so here we can see we have different versions of java sc development kit available suppose i need this particular java version 11.0.7 so for windows machine we should go with the package this particular either you can go with this installer package bin.exe or what you can do you can just download this package and use it so let me just download this package and i'll show you how we can set off the java environment all this in windows platform let's download this package for this you should have a login credentials with oracle so for me uh, let, let me just uh, put the password for this so as soon as you give the credential it will start downloading the jdk file here you can see the file is has now been downloaded so what we can do here let's go to the download folder so here you can see we have this jdk Hyphen 11.0.17, right? So let's uh, unarchive this. This is a GIF file. Let's unzip this file. Extract all. So the file has now unzipped. Now we can see we have another folder called JDK hyphen 11.0.17, right? Let's copy this particular folder. Go to your uh, C drive and here. In the program files we need to create a folder and just name this folder as java and paste the file whatever you have copied the entire folder over here now this folder jdk folder is having all the java related packages right so what we need now we need to set off the environment variable so far we have just downloaded the java if we go to the command prompt and search for the java version and check whether we have any java installed or not java version so we can see here we don't have java installed java is not recognized as an internal or external command so here now what we can do we have to set up the environment variable in windows so how we can do let's search here just search for environment and you can see here edit the system environment variables click on this and we have this particular system properties available. Now we can see here, we have this environment variable section, right? Click on this. And we have the first part is user variable. So first, what we have to do, we have to create one user variable over here. Let's click on the new button here. And we have to give it variable name. So with the variable name should be Java underscore home. And the value, we have to put it, the Java bin path, the Java path where the java is been kept right so in our case the java has been kept under this particular path let's copy this path and paste it here okay now what do you have to do in the system variable also we have to create a system variable the same name java underscore home so click on the new button here just give your name java underscore home and just paste the value whatever we have copied the entire java path okay now what we have to do we have created system variable as well as the user variables for administrator so what we can do you can see here we have one path system variables will be there right so what we have to do we have to edit this path and here we need to add this environment variables whatever we have created let's create new and percentile java underscore home percentile and you have to provide the bean path 
where the Java executable will be there under this bin Java home directory slash bin, right? Okay. Now just say okay. Click. Now what we can do? If we just go and check, let's close this uh, command prompt. Let's click. Let's open another one. And here, if we do Java, I think version now will get the Java version which is installed. So this is the Java version which we installed. Now what we did, we installed the Java in Windows 2022 machine. Now let's go and set up the agent in Jenkins. Let's log into your Jenkins server. Once you log into the Jenkins server, let's go to the manage Jenkins part. So in manage Jenkins part, you'll see here, we have one option called nodes and clouds. Click on this nodes and clouds. And here you can see whatever the nodes are available. We have the master node, which is called built-in node. And one more agent available, that is I have named it as agent hyphen B9, which is nothing uh, but a Linux agent, okay? And you can see here, it is offline. So what we can do here, we can just go ahead and create new node over here. Just click on this new node. Suppose I'll give a name, it as win hyphen agent. And click on this permanent agent, create. Just give a description. Suppose I'll give us Windows agent, right? Now, the number of executor, based on your resource capacity, you can just give the number of executors over here. And this remote directory, remote root directory. So this is mandatory. So what is the remote root directory you have to give? Let's go to the Windows machine. And here in the C drive, what we can do, we can just create a, in the program files itself, you can create one folder. Or what you can do under this C drive, you can just create a folder and name it as as for your Jenkins requirement. Suppose I'll give it as Jenkins. Okay, let's go to this folder and copy this path or C colon slash Jenkins, right? So what I can do here, I can just write this here, C colon Jenkins. Now, this is the root directory I gave it. Just to give a label. So label is the something which we need to write in our pipeline script. If you are going to automate it, this label will be required or you have to identify which agent is required for your project to run. So based on the labels, you have to identify. So give a name to it. Now usage, use this node as much as possible. And here, the most important is the launch method. In which method you do you want to connect to the agent, right? So I just want to connect the agent using the launch agent by connecting to the controller. Click on this and it will just ask for the custom working directory, leave it and internal data directory by default, it is remoting, right? And availability, keep this agent online as much as possible. So leave as it is, whatever things available now, let's go ahead and save this. So here you can see, as soon as we save, we have one node created here, but this node seems offline. So now see, now let's see how we can make it to online, right? Click on this particular node or agent, and you can see over here, uh, it is giving us a few uh, ways how we can run uh, from agent command line that is for Unix for Windows. So we are just focusing on the Windows part, right? So let's copy this particular command. Go to your Windows machine, right? On the command line prompt, let's go to your Jenkins directory. Okay, so cd Jenkins. And here, let's download this agent dot jar file from this particular server okay jenkins server we need to download this agent dot jar file let's hit enter now if we see here uh see in the jenkins folder we have this agent dot jar file is downloaded now what we can do let's go ahead and get the other command to execute this agent copy and go to your command prompt here Paste it here, hit enter. See, now we can see the agent is connected to the Jenkins server, right? Let's check it out. If I go to the nodes, 
and see here we have this windows is it which is now online right if i go to the dashboard you can see here uh here the win isn't has two executors and it will be now available to accept the build to execute okay now we can see here uh if you see this particular logs right what is this the agent port it is getting connected to fifty thousand. so where you have to set this agent port and uh and how we have to done that right so remember guys if you don't do this particular port set off in jenkins then you might Get some errors while connecting to the agent so let me show you how you do that let's go to your jenkins so in manage jenkins you have to go to the security tab right in security tab if you just go a little down if you go just a little down you'll find here the agent part right and this agent you can see here you have, i have selected here the fixed and i have given a port number to fifty thousand. So similarly, you can just click on the fixed and you have to give the port number 50,000 and make sure this port is whitelisted on this particular Jenkins server, right? So after that, you have to save this part. After save, now, if you just try to connect to the agent, whatever we just tried with this command, and you'll see, it will just get connected. Hope this is very clear how we can set up the java in the windows how we can set up the windows as in the jenkins server okay uh, if you have any doubt or any concerns please do write me in the comment section below i'll try to answer your queries if you have not yet subscribed my channel please do subscribe now thank you